Tezuku, father of modern Japanese manga. manga. Imagine a camera thousands of feet in the air, looking down on a broad river that passes through a rough landscape. Giant cliffs tower over the rushing water. A lone canoe mo moves like a shadow downstream. Moving in for a close-up, the camera captures the scene as the canoe hits a submerged rock and flips high in the air. The canoe and its occupants, a girl and a boy, are sent spinning and tumbling down a roaring waterfall. Pushed past rocks and assaulted with sound, they eventually wash up on a tropical shoreline, bruised and battered, but safe at last. It could be a scene from an action movie. The point of view shifts as fast as a well-edited film. However, this is no movie. It is a page from a manga, a Japanese graphic novel. Manga are often compared to comic books, but differ dramatically from traditional American comic books. While manga and comic books are similar art forms, there are some important features that distinguish manga from comic books, like subject matter and artistic style. One of the great masters of manga is Osamu Tezuku. <coughs> Tezuku was born in 1928, the oldest of three children. Tezuku's father collected manga and animated films before marrying and becoming an engineer. Manga had not yet achieved widespread popularity in Japan and was still an underdeveloped art form at this time. Most manga consisted of groups of sketches arranged to form a, single nar a simple narrative with generally a dozen sketches to each story. Tezuka's father instilled in young Osamu a love of the art form. He also shared with his son a large library of manga, a movie projector, an interest in animators such as Walt Disney, and an abundant supply of sketch pads. At nine years old, Osamu Tezuku, Tezuka drew his first manga. Following his recovery from a childhood illness, Tezuka also became interested in the field of healthcare and later studied medicine at Osaka University. At 18, while still a medical student, Tezuka submitted his first newspaper comic strip, a four panel piece called Ma Chan's Diary, to a children's newspaper. Torn between manga and medicine, Tezuka consulted his mother about whether he should pursue manga full time or become a doctor. She told him, you should work doing the thing you like most of all. And Tezuka decided to devote himself full time to drawing manga. Within a few years, he was publishing collections of manga based on Western classic novels, such as Treasure Island. Tezuka was one of Japan's first artists to serialize manga, publishing his work in installments and turning them into books. His early books were enormously popular, selling more than 400,000 copies each, and Tezuka became a household name in Japan. Tezuka is considered the father of modern manga. Manga artists have copied his style of big-eyed characters for decades. His approach to manga was influenced by Japanese history and culture. His complicated line drawings, spare, spare design, and depictions of the natural world bring to mind ancient Japanese landscape of ink and watercolor. The complex plots and choice of subject matter for some of his books, retelling of famous Russian novels, for example, allow Tezuka's work to lay claim to the title Classics. Page after page of each massive volume, many more than 400 pages long, is filled with intricate, detailed drawings. While, Tezuka manga, while Tezuka's manga may stand on the same library shelves as American superhero comic books, Tezuka's manga are to most traditional American comic books what Shakespeare's plays are to soap operas on American television. A similar art form, but with much richer content. According to the Asian Art Museum of San Francisco, 
which staged an exhibit of Tezuka's work in 2007 entitled The Marvel of Manga. Tezuka changed the world of comics dramatically. Before Tezuka, Japanese cartoons were confined to small strips in the corners of newspapers. Tezuka evolved the art form and the world of manga expanded and matured, eventually earning its own section in many Japanese newspapers. One element that makes Osama Tezuka's work different from the work of earlier manga artists in Japan is the film-like quality of his work. The website for San Francisco's Asian Art Museum explains that manga is dynamic storytelling by way of cinematic engaging pictures. This method is evident in Tezuka's drawing, which makes use of the filmmaker's trick of editing scenes to show a variety of points of view. From extreme close-ups of characters' faces to panoramic views of vast landscapes, Osamu Tezuka's work brings a filmmaker's eye to manga storytelling. The effects on the reader is, a t is intense and gripping, and one of Tezuka's books of manga can be difficult to put down. Tezuka's work may be full of action and suspense, but it is also subtle and sensitive. Characters share real emotion, joy, grief, and anger, and face real challenges. However, unlike conventional Hollywood movies, Tezuka does not reveal every detail, plot element, and character detail in his stories. Critical action often takes place out of view of the reader, making Tezuka's fans work a little to understand a character's perspective. A single tear dripping down a cheek, for example, might reveal that a dreaded event has taken place, or a battle might end with a close-up of a surprise look on the face of the falling hero. Tezuka passed away on February 10, 1989, still at work on new publications. During his lifetime, Tezuka drew more than 150,000 pages of images he evolved Japanese manga, and in doing so, in so doing, he evolved the art of animation in general. The power of his work can be measured by the reach of its influence, which today extends well beyond the borders of Japan. Now I'm going to read the questions. I will go straight through. You can go back and look at the video if you need to, okay? The purpose of the first paragraph is to A, describe one of Osamu Tezuka, Tezuka's drawing, B, give a preview of Osamu Tezuka's newest manga book, C, provide a description of Osamu Tezuka's movie scenes, D, show how Osamu Tezuka manga differs from older manga. Question 15. Which question is answered in paragraph three? How often would Usamu Tezuka sketch pictures? B, when did manga become wildly popular? C, who invented the manga art form? D, how many siblings did Osamu Tezuka have? Number 16, paragraph four, suggests that Osamu Tezuka A. spent most of his career writing comic strips for a children's newspaper, B. nearly decided upon a career in medicine rather than as a manga artist, C. decided to publish his work in installments instead of publishing books, D. deeply regretted taking his mother's advice about becoming a doctor. Question 17. Read this sentence from paragraph 5. While Tezuka's manga may stand on the same library shelves as American superhero comic books, Tezuka's manga are to most traditional American comic books what Shakespeare plays are to soap operas on American television, a similar art form but with much richer content. The purpose of the analogy in this sentence is to A, illustrate the popular themes of American comic books, B, 
point out that the manga storylines are similar to American soap operas. C. Emphasize the literary merit of Osamu Tezuka's manga. D. Argue that comic book superheroes are based on Shakespeare's plays. Question 18. The author mainly develops the topic of this selection by A. Summarizing an artist's career and his contribution to modern manga. B. Providing detailed information for creating and publishing original manga. C. Comparing and contrasting an artist's manga with traditional comic books. D. Stating an opinion of manga and supporting it with examples and quotations. Question 19. Which information from the selection supports the thesis that manga has become increasingly popular over time? A. Japanese manga originally contained a dozen sketches that formed one complete story. B. Osama Tezuka's father possessed a substantial collection of his favorite manga. C. Osama Tezuka's work contains borrowed plots from many literary classics. D. Manga currently has its own section in many Japanese newspapers. Can't make it stop though. Stop. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to upload that one, you guys, and then um, immediately, and then you can, um, if you want to go back and look at it, but you can work on those right now, and then I'm going to get that, that one loaded as quickly as I can, and then I'll record the second one for you. You okay back there? Okay. You know what you got to do? Okay. You okay doing it? You okay doing it? Okay.